In this module, we shall study about environmental accounting. Environmental accounting aims at achieving sustainable development, maintaining a favorable relationship with the community, and pursuing effective and efficient environmental conservation activities. These accounting procedures allow a company to identify the cost of environmental conservation during the normal course of business, identify benefit gain from such activities and provide the best possible means of quantitative measurement in monetary value or physical units and support the communication of its results. As a financial accounting, we measure the costs and outcomes to know the result for a particular activity and then communicate those results to the stakeholders. The same we do in environmental accounting and the activity here is anything related to environment. For example, getting recyclable bags instead of non-recyclable bags. The activity can be a major step towards environmental protection or it may be a minor step, whatever it is, process of accounting would remain the same. After studying this module, you shall be able to know the meaning of environmental accounting, learn the importance of environmental accounting, identify the basic dimensions of environmental accounting and evaluate various elements of environmental accounting. We shall know, now understand about the functions and roles of environmental accounting. The function of environmental accounting can be compared with functions of any kind of accounting. For instance, financial accounting helps in getting the, to know the figures of profit earned for a business for a particular period of time. In the same manner, environmental accounting helps in knowing the benefits or costs for any environmental activity. We can divide the functions and roles played by the environmental accounting into two parts, namely internal and external. Let us first understand the internal functions. Internal functions are those roles or functions which environmental accounting plays for the organization itself. Or in the other words, whatever business is getting out of doing environmental accounting. Here we are not talking about the benefits that organization reaps because of doing certain environmental conservative activity, but just what environmental accounting does for the business. Environmental accounting acts as an information system for the organization. It provides information to the management about the environmental activities that are being undertaken and the benefits and costs attached to it. Internal function makes it possible to manage environmental conservation cost and analyze the cost of environmental conservation activities versus the benefits obtained from it and promotes effective and efficient environmental conservation through suitable decision making. We will now understand the various external functions. As environmental accounting acting, an information system for the internal management, it also acts as an information system to the outsiders. The outcomes given by the environmental accounting are communicated to, to the various stakeholders. This function in environmental accounting is even more important than financial accounting 
as the steps that are taken by the business should reach to all stakeholders including the environmental activist and even to other firms in the business as these activities would act as a stepping stone for others and the reporting company would gain in terms of compliance and emerge as a positive brand by disclosing the quantitatively measured results of its environmental conservation activities external functions allow a company to influence the decision making of stakeholders such as consumers investors and local residents now let us discuss why do we study about environmental accounting as the basic function of environmental accounting is same as any other accounting the rationale for doing it is also the same environmental accounting is specifically done for measuring and reporting costs and benefits associated with environmental activities environmental costs are one of the many different types of costs businesses incur as they provide goods and services to their consumers environmental performance is one of the many important measures of the business success environmental costs and performance deserve management attention for the following reasons number 1 many environmental costs can be significantly reduced or eliminated as a result of business decision ranging from operational and housekeeping changes to investment in greener process technology to redesign of processes and products many environmental costs such as wasted raw material may be may provide or add no value to process system or product two environmental costs may be absorbed in overheads accounts or otherwise overbooked it should be segregated in order to have a correct picture three many companies have discovered that environmental costs can be offset by generating revenues through sale of waste by products or transferable pollution allowances or licensing of clean technologies for example there should be proper treatment for such offset four better management of environmental costs can result in improved environmental performance and significant benefit to human health as well as business success environmental accounting helps in assessing the efficiency of various environmental activities which in turn would help in judicious allocation of resources 5 understanding the environmental costs and performance of processes and products can promote more accurate costing and pricing of products can aid companies in the design of more environmentally preferable processes products services for the future 6 competitive advantage with consumers or customers can result from processes products and services that can be demonstrated to be environmentally preferable 7 accounting for environmental costs and performance can support a company's development and operation of an overall environmental management system such a system will soon be a necessity for companies engaged in international trade due to pending international consensus standard ISO 14001 developed by the international organization for standardization eight and lastly reporting the results of environmental accounting with financial accounting boosts the image of the reporting firm and generate excitement among various stakeholders
Let us now move on to basic dimensions of environmental accounting. As environmental accounting is derived from accounting itself, all the dimensions for environmental accounting are same for any kind of accounting. Number one, relevance. Environmental accounting should provide valid information related to a company's environmental conservation costs and benefits from associated activities which contribute to the decision making of stakeholders. As the basic purpose of environmental accounting is to help the stakeholders in decision making, this can only be achieved if needed information is given. Two, reliability. Environmental accounting should eliminate seriously inaccurate or biased data and aid in building the trust and reliability of stakeholders. If the information given is not reliable, then there can be two things either stakeholders won't use the information while making decision or they take wrong decisions while using such information. Faithful representation. When disclosing environmental accounting, it should be represented accurately and faithfully. Two, substance over form. Information disclosure should not just be a mere formality or following steps laid down within these guidelines. When necessary, the company should determine an appropriate method of disclosure, which conforms to and accurately describes the actual environmental activities being conducted. 3. Completeness the scope of environmental accounting should extend to all material and significant information for all environmental conservation activities. 4. Prudence. Information that may be vague or unclear should be handled carefully and the nature scope and grounds on which it is based should be made clear. 3. Understandability. By achieving understandability of disclosure of necessary environmental accounting data, environmental accounting should eliminate the possibility of any mistaken judgment about company's environmental conservation activities. 4. Comparability Environmental accounting makes it possible for a company to make year-to-year -year comparison. Information provided should be comparable with different companies in the same sector. 5. Verifiability. Environmental accounting data should be verifiable from an objective standpoint. Let us understand the structural elements of environmental accounting. Environmental accounting as defined under consists of the following structural elements. Measuring cost and benefit. Number one, environmental conservation cost. Environmental conservation cost refers to the investment and expense related to the prevention, reduction and or avoidance of environmental impact, removal of such impact, restoration following the occurrence of a disaster, and other activities are measured in monetary value. Investment amounts are expenditures allocated during a target period for the purpose of environmental conservation. The benefit from these investments are seen over several periods and are recorded as expense during the depreciation period, that is the amount of depreciable assets recorded during the period under financial accounting standards. Expense amounts refers to the expense or losses recorded under financial accounting standards resulting from the consumption of goods or services for the purpose of environmental conservation. Let us now understand how to determine whether a cost incurred is an environmental cost. Costs incurred to comply with environmental laws are clearly environmental costs. Costs of environmental remediation, 
pollution control equipment and non-compliance penalties are all unquestionably environmental costs. Other costs incurred for environment protection are likewise clearly environmental costs. Even if they are not explicitly required by regulations or go beyond regulatory compliance levels. 2. Let us now understand environmental conservation benefit. Benefits obtained from the prevention, reduction and or avoidance of environmental impact, removal of such impact, restoration following the occurrence of a disaster and other activities are measured in physical units. Environmental conservation benefits are broken down into following four categories in relation to business operations. Number one, environmental conservation benefit associated with inputs of resources into business operations. Two, environmental conservation benefit associated with environmental impact and waste emission from business operations. Three, environmental conservation benefit associated with the goods and services produced by business operations. Four, and lastly, environmental conservation benefit associated with transport and other operations. Three, economic benefit associated with environmental conservation activities. Additions to the company's profits as a result of carrying forward with the environmental conservation activities are measured in monetary value. The economic benefit associated with environmental conservation activities are divided into actual benefits and estimated benefits depending on whether the data is confirmed. Actual benefits are the economic benefit calculated based on confirmed data. Estimated benefits are those economic benefits calculated based on certain premise. Actual benefit, we will consider revenue first. The benefits from environmental conservation activities measured in monetary value which are actually shown on company's financial statements as revenue for the current period are known as revenues. These revenues include the income derived from recycling of those products or waste generated by key business operations. Now we will consider saving of expense. These are avoidance of expenses by conducting environmental and conservation activities in comparison with the previous year. Let us now take some examples. Number one, expense saving through lower resource input into business activities. Expense saving of resources input can be achieved through the reduction of raw material costs by recycling resources or more effective usage of reduction of energy costs by energy conservation and reduction of water bills by using recycling water. Two, expense saving resulting from decrease in environmental impact and lower waste emission. Expenses incurred due to an environmental impact and waste emission expense saving can be achieved by lowering statutory expenses through reduction in the emission of regulated environmental pollutants, trimming wastewater treatment expenses by recycling water and decreasing waste disposal expenses through resource conservation and recycling. Three and lastly, expense saving for environmental remediation. These are the amounts which a company can reduce its conventional expenses for environmental remediation such as funds to build up provisions and insurance premium payments in the current period. 2. Estimated benefits. Estimated benefits are important information for management as it would help the management in making the correct choice among alternatives to choose from. This type of information is likely to be employed 
mainly for internal use since estimated benefits has lower probability than actual benefits or a certain uncertainty and contains elements of assumption their calculations must be carried out with caution moving on further we discuss the disclosure of environmental accounting information it is recommended that active disclosure of environmental accounting information via an environmental report should be disclosed let us understand various elements of disclosure for environmental accounting these include number 1 the content of environmental conservation cost and environmental conservation activities two environmental conservation benefits three and lastly economic benefit associated with environmental conservation activities all these informations should be disclosed in proper format Let us now recapitulate what we have learned so far in this module. Environmental accounting is becoming more relevant for the firm as well as for various stakeholders. It has grabbed enormous attention of policy makers as well. There are many benefits of indulging in environmental accounting to the firm as they can save their costs and at the same time grab attention of stakeholders and improve its corporate image information about environmental accounting should be disclosed by the firm regularly as without disclosures to stakeholders they would not be able to know about the firm's environmental actions although there are no concrete guidelines for the disclosures